this is law right here. Check this out. Right. Every verse you believe in. Yeah. All right. You know this book is a Bible of prophecy, right? Yeah. Things that must shortly come to pass, right? Exactly. So you have to ask yourself, who are you in this Bible? Who are we in this Bible? African Americans, not in the Bible. Caucasian, not in the Bible. Who are we? Who are we? Deuteronomy 28, 6 day. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. Uh-huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. The Lord shall bring us into Egypt, synonymous for slavery. By which way? By the way whereof I speak unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. The Bible says we shall be put into Egypt, meaning slavery, again with what? With ships. With what? With ships. How we get to America? Not by ships. African Americans? Yeah, how we get to America? By ships. By ships. The Bible's speaking about this. Watch this. By the way, world, I spake unto thee. By the way, I'm telling you, that's the way it's going to happen. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. Thou shalt see your homeland no more again, which is Jerusalem. We're not from Africa. That's a country. We're from Jerusalem. Read. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemy. We shall be sold unto our who? Unto your enemy. Read. For bond men. And slave men. And bond women. And slave women. And no man shall buy you. And no man shall be able to save us. Who was brought on slave ships and brought to America? And history, African Americans were in the United States. Deuteronomy 1 and 1 and 1. But we're reading out the Bible. This Bible is talking about it happened to the Israelites. The Israelites. 1 and 1. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1 and verse 1. Read. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. No, Mormons. All Israel. No, Christians. All Israel. We're speaking to? Israel. Israel. We read in Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. Read verse 15. 28, 6, 15. Why do we go into slavery? Why? Why? Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's, 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 that's facts, right? It is facts. Why do we go into slavery? The Bible says it happened to Israel. Deuteronomy 28, 6, again. 15. You got 15 read it. Book of Deuteronomy. Oh, my bad. 68, 15. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. You say you believe in every verse, right? But it happened to the Israelites. But it happened to the so-called who? African Americans. Watch this. But it shall come to pass. Uh -huh. if that thou, means going to happen. Read. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God uh -huh. to observe, to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, mm -hmm. which I command thee this day, mm -hmm. that all these curses, all these what? Curses uh -huh. shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All these curses that was put on the Israelites for breaking God's laws, we was put into slave ships by our who? Read that again, Deuteronomy 28, 6, 8. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Who brought us over those ships? Right there. But who? What nation of people? Uh, I'm not too familiar with how this history all a lot of history. Europeans, right? Europeans, Caucasian people, your people. Right or wrong? It's history. That's, that's history. Yeah, I mean, I'm and that's and facts, right? Yeah. Now, preacher hate is coming out the Bible, right? Yeah. But that's, that's actually true. We was brought up on a slave ship by our who? Read it again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way whereof I speak unto by thee. By the way I'm speaking to you, that's the way it happened. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. We haven't seen our home now. We've been brought over on slave ships and dropped off for breaking God's laws. That's the reason it happened to us. We was picked, hand-picked, because we broke God's laws. We are God's chosen people. The Israelites are. The people who went into slavery. They are God's chosen people. They are the saints of the Bible. You see that verse on my back? Yes. That's for the children of Israel. We are the saints of this Bible. Read that, finish. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. 14. And sold unto your who? Unto your enemies. Who sold us again? Right. But that's your people, according to the Bible. You descend from the nation of Edom, which is Esau. In the Bible, the Bible says we have enemies. They sold us because we broke God's law. God allowed that to happen to us because we broke God's laws. We ain't keeping laws today. Right now, we read the Bible, but we're not following the Bible. These things on our shirt, what are they called? You know what these are called? These are fringes. It's a law in the Bible. What is sin, bro? You study the Bible? I study the Bible. What is sin, bro? I don't know. Sin is Breaking the law. Breaking what? The law. Breaking the law of God. So what is the payment for breaking God's laws? I 
What's the payment? Come on, y'all. Come on. Promise. Follow me. <laughs> Romans 6 and 10 and 3. If I'm asking questions, y'all get answers. Romans 6 and 3 and 3, 1 John 3 and 4. Somebody. The book of Romans, chapter 6 and verse 23. Read. For the wages of sin is dead. For the wages, the payment of breaking God's law yes. is what? Dead. So if we're breaking God's laws, what are you going to get out of it? Death. Death. Right now, we this is a law. Fringes. You supposed to have on fringes on your on your shirts, on your garments. You see these ruffles? Show your ribbon, your ribbon blue, show your ribbon blue. Why do we why would he have this on our shirts? Why? Why? God chose the Israelites to be set apart. We're supposed to be set apart from every other nation. Deuteronomy 76. What you hold? Psalms 148. Show them. 14. The saints. Who are the saints? Who are the real saints? Read that. He also exalted the horn of his people. Of his people, God's people, which are the Israelites. Read. The praise of all his saints. Even the praise of all his what? Saints. Read. Even of the even of the children of Israel. Even the children of Israel. A people near unto him. A people near unto him. The Israelites. Read. Praise ye the Lord. We are the saints. The Israelites of this Bible. If your people went into slavery on ships, you are an Israelite according to the Bible. Because God cursed the Israelites for breaking the laws. He didn't curse everybody. What you hold? Joel 2 and 27. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. Question. Question. Very particular question. Is we all created equal? God is no respecter of persons. Right. But what about nations? Not respecter of persons, but nations. Uh, I'm believe what the Bible says. Let's see what the Bible says. Right. Deuteronomy 76. Okay. For thou art an holy people. God said the Israelites are holy people. The word holy means set apart. You're not like everybody else. Holy means set apart. Read. Unto the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. So he did what? The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. He hath did what? Chosen thee. Read. To be a special people. God chose us to be a special people. Who can dunk the ball like LeBron James? Hmm? Hmm? Special, huh? Who can cross over like Kyrie, huh? <laughs> like Kyrie, huh? What about James Hart, huh? Yeah. Who can do that like them guys? Read. Unto himself, uh -huh. above all people that are upon the face of the earth. God said the Israelites are above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Is God the God of everybody? Yeah? Yeah. Really? I believe so. He's well, let's read the Bible and see. You believe in the Bible, right? Every verse. Read that. The book of Joel, chapter chapter 2 and verse 27. You are an Israelite according to the Bible, bro. Watch this. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. I'm in the midst of Israel. The middle. Read. And that I am the Lord your God. You say, I'm the Lord your God. Is those our shoes or your shoes? It's my shoes. Yours. Read that part again. I am the Lord your God. And your none, God. Read. And none else. What? And none else. What? And none else. God says he's the God of Israel and none else. It's coming out the Bible. Read it again. Read and it ye, again. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native American people are the Israelites of this Bible. We was brought over on slave ships. Read. And that I am the Lord your God. He said, I'm the Lord your God. Read. And none else. And what? And none else. And what? And none else. So why did everybody say God love everybody? He said, I'm not the God of you. I'm the God of the Israelites. You know, I actually really admire you guys' dedication. You, but do you see that? Yeah, I do. Did, do you, did you hear that? I heard that. Yeah. So that puts a hole in a lot of doctrines out there. Yeah, you know, Watch this, Matthew 15, 24. Let's see what Jesus Christ. You believe in Jesus? Yeah, Do cool. Jesus lie? Yeah. Will he say something that he will confuse you on? No. God is not the author of confusion, right? They wouldn't be in this book if it wasn't true. Read that. The book of Matthew, chapter 15 and verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep 
of the house of Israel. The house of who? The house of Israel. Christians. The house of Israel. Mormons. The house of Israel. God said he, Christ said he only coming back for the children of Israel. Why would Christ say that? See that? Hmm. It puts a hole in a lot of doctrines that's out here. A lot of people going by what they think or what they feel. That's not in the Bible. God doesn't love everybody. Prove it again. Read. The book of Amos, chapter 3 and verse 1. Watch this. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. O children of Israel. Who are the Israelites? The people who came over on slave ships. The people who God cursed. Look at our people right now. Everybody is not cursed. Who don't own their own language? Own their own land? Who have to work and serve another nation just to feed, clothe, and, 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 feed, and, and clothe themselves? All right. You hear that, sister? Sister, come Bill, watch this, sis. Come here, sis. Come here, real quick. Watch this. Watch this, sis. Come here. You said all right. You got to agree with this. This Bible speaking to you. That's why you heard this voice. God said he ain't the God of nobody but the Israelites. Mm -hmm. Who are the Israelites? Us. That's okay. right. That's My right. My man here said he's a Mormon. Now, we have to identify who are the Mormons. Where is Mormon in this Bible? Question. That's a great question. And that's what we go around talking about. Just right. talking about so much Mormons. You know, our church is right here on the name of our church of Jesus Christ. Of church Christ. of who? Jesus Christ. So who is Jesus Christ? Your Savior and Redeemer. Who is that guy? Like, is he coming to redeem everybody? I believe so. You really believe so? Acts 5, 31. What you hold? Hey. Hold that. I want. He said, "I want him to see if he want to redeem everybody." We answer everything with scripture. Everything. Everything. everything, every single thing. Read the book of Acts, chapter five, and verse thirty-one. Read. Him has God exalted with His right hand to be a prince and a savior. And a savior to who? For to give repentance to Israel. I thought you said everybody. To Israel. No, everybody. To Israel. And forgiveness of sins. Give me Luke 1, 68. Somebody. So that answer the question again. He's not here for Christ said he's coming back for the Israelites. Did he not? Matthew 15. Didn't we just read it? I didn't that? say the house of Israel. The house of Israel, which is the 12 tribes of Israel, which is who we are. We are the Israelites of this Bible. God is not coming back to save everybody, bro. That's a lie that's been told. It's not in the Bible. Read. The got? book of Luke. Chapter 1 and verse 68. Read. Blessed be the Lord God of Blessed Israel. Blessed be the Lord God of who? Of Israel. Is this a Mormon sister? <laughs> no, that's not, not fun to matter. It's a, a very serious miracle we've been lied to. Now it's, it's, it's been. It's funny because it's a well believed lie. Exactly. Because it's been told years and years. If you tell me 100,000 times I look good and I'm ugly as heck, I'm going to believe you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. And, you know, our message that we go on and share is not that Mormons are going to be saved. Right. We believe that all men can be saved through our, the atonement of Jesus Christ. But now we have to go to the scripture to prove it. We have to prove everything that we say. Right? I'm proving everything I'm going to say to you. Hey, do you mind if I actually read a couple of verses with you? Well, you have to actually be given these laws to teach this law. You understand? Psalms 147, 19 and 20. Watch this, brother. Watch this. Because this is what we have to remember. Right? This Bible is not a religion. It's a heritage given to the Israelites only. You can't have the service of God. My brother here can only because his bloodline. Now this Bible is only for the children of Israel. It's not a religion. It's a heritage. We, this is a heritage. You, you know? Read that. The book of Psalms. Ecclesiastical 17 and 11. Read that. Chapter 147 verse 19. Read. He showed his word mm -hmm. unto Jacob. See, the Most High God only showed his word unto Jacob, which is our forefather. Bring it which out. Which is your forefather. Read. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. It's only showing it to the Israelites. Read. He have not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. Are you an Israelite? You see, yes, is yes, or no. yes, yes or no. Yes or no. Yes or no. Yes or no. To my beliefs, Come I am on. a part yes. of the house of Israel because I become a part of this covenant house. Because of this flesh. Romans 9 and 4. Give me all. Uh, this, five, is, this is kind of stuff that oh, might be seem a little more difficult. Romans 9 and 5. Because yeah. of Sorry, verse 4. Who are Israelites? Who are the Israelites? 
three. To whom pertaineth the adoption. Uh huh. And the glory and the covenants. Uh huh. And the giving of the law. The Israelite was giving the law. Read. And the service of God and the promises. And the service of God. Only to the Israelites. Read. Who are the fathers? And the and whom are as concerning the flesh. Concerning the what? Concerning the flesh. You gotta be put, you gotta be blood in, bro. You're not a part of the Israelites. Your forefathers, this goes on who your forefathers is. Your forefathers is not Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Read. Because you gotta be chosen from the line of Jacob. That's who was chosen. Keep reading. Christ came, who is all who is Read over. that verse again from the top. But you started right. Okay. Who's whose are the fathers? Uh-huh. And who of whom is concerning the flesh? Uh-huh. Christ came who is over. Uh, concerning all. the flesh. You have to be born into this. You can't be in this spiritual. It's not a such thing as spiritual Israelites. Period. Keep reading. Christ came who is over all. Uh-huh. God bless forever. God Amen. God bless forever. Amen. You have to be born into this. You can't be a part of this just by jumping in and saying you believe. Because this Bible was only given to the Israelites. What you hold? What you hold? Sirach 17 and 11. Read that. The book of Sirach, chapter 17 and verse 11. Uh-huh. Beside this. Besides this, read. He gave them knowledge. He gave them what? He gave them knowledge. Read. And the law of life for inheritance. For religion. For inheritance. For inheritance. For inheritance. This is not a book of religions. This is not for all people. God only the God of Israel. And none else. He only knew us. And nobody else. That's what we've been lied to. We have been told Jesus is a Caucasian. But that's a lie, bro. Show him. Revelation 1 and 14. Christ is a dark skinned man. Look just like this brother here. With woolly hair. Just like that brother here. Really love. His head and his hairs were <laughs> white like wool. Christ's hair was white. Not brown. Not blonde. But white. Like what texture? Like wool. Woolly hair? Woolly hair? Woolly hair? That's right. Woolly hair? That's right. Woolly hair? Need to burst Wavy it. hair, but woolly. <laughs> <laughs> Is that facts or fiction? Facts. Is that facts? Be honest, brother. Is that it states, facts? It states in the Bible. It's, right. it's facts, right? You believe in that Bible, don't you? I believe in the Bible. Believe Let's keep reading, brother. God, right? That's right. Read. As white as snow. As white as snow. Christ's hair was white like snow. Who was the blonde hair guy? Caesar Borgia. Keep reading. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Christ had red eyes. Who was the blonde blue eye guy? Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Brass, brown color. Brown. Read. As if they were burned into a furnace. As if they were what? Burned in a furnace. Burned. What color is anything when you burn it? Sis. Black. Brown. So if his feet was already bronze, but if you burn it, what color is it now, sis? Black. His feet. Your feet same color your hand. Hands same color your face. What color is Christ? According to the scriptures. His description. It's brown, olive skin. Dark skin. Dark. If you burn anything, it ain't olive. Olive is sometimes green. Sometimes. But this is.